look at this beautiful Defender right next to me here. The old school classic. I know there's like the new, you know, the new hotness out, but this is, I think this is still hot. So Lindsay here is actually the owner of this Defender and uh, I convinced him to let me take a look at it. Thanks for doing that, Lindsay. Oh, Appreciate not a problem. It. Tell us about this Defender. Uh, this, this particular one is a 1984 uh, Defender 90, which means it has a 90-inch wheelbase. Mm -hmm. um, it's a ex-British military vehicle. Okay. And um, the difference in that is basically heavier-duty frame, uh, diesel engine, and oh, cool. uh, less comfort but more stamina. Yeah, so this is probably really sought after here because I know it's tough to get Defenders here. Correct. Okay. So how did you, are you like a big uh, Land Rover uh, guy or you just like Defenders? I have a uh, restoration business. Oh, cool. And uh, I specialize in uh, military vehicles throughout the world. Oh, sweet. And um, got kind of sick and tired of doing just American stuff and wanted to venture out. Absolutely. I always wanted a Land Rover. And What's the name of the business? It's uh, ABL Restorations out of Eustis, Florida. Awesome. Okay, so if you guys are looking, because this is a great example, and I'm guessing, is this, are you a judge here at the show, or no. is this competing in the show? Uh, it, it's entered in the show, but awesome. I really don't care if I win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you already won with this one. Right. So just give me a run around and tell me, sure. first of all, did you get it just like this? I'm assuming no. But, no. Okay. No, this was a uh, ground up restoration. Okay. Uh, it was taken, actually it was purchased in uh, upstate Vermont. Okay. And um, it was one of four that were on the property just rusting. Wow. So what we did is we threw it on a trailer, brought it home last April, mm -hmm. tore everything down right to the frame. Every nut and bolt that could come off came off, got replaced, fixed, refurbished. Wow, so this is like complete frame. Correct. Down to the frame restoration. Correct. Did you put this like on a rotisserie yes. and all that? Wow, okay. Yes. Yep. So you must have some great pictures of uh, oh, yeah. going through yeah. this. Do you have I, a YouTube channel or any kind of social media stuff? I don't. Um, okay. I, I do work with uh, uh, some other TV shows, okay. uh, military vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, military collectors, Okay. Uh, which are all YouTube and they're mm -hmm. also a uh, history channel. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, so, um, so how did you guys build this up? What did you add? Or did it come just like this it basically, originally? Basically, it, it, it came like this. But there were no, as a, uh, um, a military vehicle, it didn't have any windows here. Okay. This is a, I, I kind of civilianized it, made it a little bit more creature comfort so right. I can drive. This is gonna be my own personal vehicle. Oh, it is, okay, cool. And um, so I wanted more light to get in, more more ventilation. Yeah. There is no air conditioning. Right. <laughs> um, so the opening windows. Right, windows slide open forward. Right. So are those custom or someone makes those for that the- That is a Land Rover uh, item, specific. Okay, all right, very cool. Uh, around the back, you have your uh, jerry cans, one for diesel, one for water. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's, it's, it's still registered in the UK. Nice. <laughs> uh, sorry about the... Uh, nice Jeep peasant. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, just went on the, there today. That's for the British aristocracy, right? Right, right. <laughs> uh, it does have a hard top. Uh -huh. oh, I'm sorry, get the head of Yeah, take your time. Um, what's unique to the Land Rover, and especially the 90 series, is it has the side facing seats in the back, mm -hmm. which fold up and can come out very quickly in case um, they, they wanted to put radios mm -hmm. or ammunition in this, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then just, uh, it, it, it's very... Very utilitarian, I think, right? I it's, mean, because these guys use this everywhere. It's yeah. basically a tractor. Yeah. It's made to get you there, mm -hmm. made to get you home. You're not going to get there fast, but yeah. in 80% I mean, of the world, this is the first vehicle that people have seen in third world countries. Absolutely, me too. Yeah, I used to live in Nigeria and... Uh, this is what you saw first. This brings back memories. Yeah, I lived there in the 80s. And, and in England, they don't ever get rid of these. These no. live on the farm and They're all that kind of down. stuff. They're handed down. They're heirlooms. Yeah. So you want to... Let's uh, go around here. Sure. To the, uh, this is the, right the driver's side. Drive. Yep, yep. They drive on the wrong side over there. Or as they so, say, the correct side. <laughs> so very nice. You got some fans in here. Yeah. Um, so all yeah, I can see you guys did a lot of work on this, every from detail wise, and then put everything back together. So this is all like the original steering wheel and everything Correct. that went back in here. Correct. Okay. Yep. The whole interior is as it was, except for these door cards. I, I bought these brand new. Okay. Yeah. 
That's um, very nice. Yeah. And it's all aluminum, it'll never rust. Yeah. Uh, all full time four wheel drive, coil over suspension. Oh, okay, so you don't have to like get out and, and no. mess with anything on nope. this one. Okay. Nope. And the hard top comes off in about five minutes. Okay. And then the tops of the doors come off in another two minutes. Right. And then you've got yourself a beautiful beach vehicle. Yeah, very nice. And then you've got some hardware up front here, I see. Yeah. This is standard issue. <laughs> you've got all your uh, uh, Pioneer tools, and then okay. your spare tire goes on the front. So this is how a military vehicle would come, including Correct. with the grill. Correct. With the grill guard and all that kind of stuff. Yep. yep. Very nice. Uh, lights too, or? That's aftermarket. Okay, aftermarket. Same. This would be the same bumper. That is a military bumper. Mi military bumper. Yep. Very cool. And here's the telltale, you know, Defender. Right. Grill right there. Right. Now this so. truck came. This is what they call a snow guard for the air cleaner. Snow guard. Okay. Um, Believe it or not, there's fewer snorkels on Land Rovers than you think. It's mostly right. just this. Okay. This keeps snow, rain, dirt, dust out of the air cleaner. Okay. Because it sucks from the bottom. Right. Yeah, someone was telling me the other day, like I always thought it was for water, but someone was telling me dust. that it's for dust and they and they use it in a lot of places for sand and right. stuff like that, obviously. Yep. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah, that's great. Cool. So what other details are in there? Well, it's got the louvers that open from the front, oh. which, which they call Land Rover air conditioning. Oh, I see. <laughs> Third world air conditioning. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so those are you got to manually fold your own. Correct. Your own steps. <laughs> Correct. One less thing to go wrong. Yeah, this is great. I'm just gonna do like go around it. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks, Lindsay. Oh, not a problem. Man. I appreciate Anytime. that. Anytime. It's a beautiful ride. What do you think about the new ones? Have you had a chance to see one? I have. They're, they're comparable. They're just mm -hmm. a different style, and mm -hmm. life goes on. You can't yeah. you can't keep that. You know what I mean? You have to have the the, the niceties in life. Yeah. Would I go from? Like like you said, Nigeria. Would I take it? Would I take it to Nigeria? No. Right. Too many um, electrical issues mm -hmm. with the computers and stuff. Mm -hmm. That once you break down, you're done. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. You I'd can't find have... a, a Land Rover repair place. To right. Use. I mean, I'm sure they have them out there, but. <laughs> Few and far between, and yeah. the time it takes to get the part, yeah. you're sitting on your hands. And I think that probably makes these more valuable too. Correct. I think. You know, it's making them more collectible, more valuable, desirable Absolutely. for folks out here. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate right. it. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. Yeah, I just couldn't resist. Let me see. Where's the sunlight? Bam. All right. I just couldn't resist asking that gentleman to show us his uh, Land Rover Defender. Awesome car. Uh, make sure you subscribe here to the channel. Smash the thumbs up. Ring the bell so you can be notified every time we post a video. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>